Hi, Judy from Witch Piece Craft. Welcome to today's video. It's all about the hook, the big crochet hooks, the hooks. Yes, this video is the 10 crochet hook questions. I was tagged by Gary from Urban Yarn. Thank you, Gary. I think this will be a lot of fun and I'll tell you what I use. So question one, what is your favorite brand of hook? Well, that's easy. Clover Amore at the moment. They are my number one favorite brand. I Years ago, when I was 15 and learned to crochet, I used to use, I've taken it out of its packet, these. I still have four. They are almost 50 years old. I am not going to tell you how old I am. Um, I still have a packet for one of them. I tend to give these away when someone says to me, they're learning to crochet and you know what should they use I tend to give them these but I'm down to four and I will be reluctant to give them away they are all different sizes ranging from three millimeter to 4.5 millimeter and everything in between they were my first hooks when I started but when I took it back up four or five years ago, I, I kept hearing podcasters talk about their clover hooks. And then Krista from The Secret Yarnery told us about a special on Amazon and she had an affiliated link. And I clicked on it and I bought my first set at a great price. So I have a complete set of the clover and more to the six millimeter. I have got um, bigger hooks in the clover set, which, oops, sorry. I dropped on the floor. These are the clover, um, much larger hooks. This is the nine millimeter. Now I like them so much that, I don't know, months, maybe a year later when she told us again that the, um, there was an affiliated link with a discounted special, I went and bought a second set of these because I really do like them. I have an everyday pouch with one set in and I have a travel pouch with the other set in that gets thrown in a suitcase. Closely followed by the Clover Soft Touch. These are what I've discovered I really like for my new obsession, Amigurumi. I just think they're better, they fit in my hand better for doing the Amigurumi. So these are my second favourite hooks. Now I have got other hooks. I have a hook from a friend. I think this is an oldie hook too, I'm not sure. It was sent to me by my friend, um, Colleen and I quite like this because it's got a nice big group with a fine head and that is I'm pretty sure 3.75 no yep 3.75 it's not it's in the head there I have tried the Aldi hooks or Addy hooks sorry this is a nine millimeter I um I couldn't I didn't have the nine millimeter clover then and I went and this is the only one I could get it's quite nice but yeah, it wasn't for me. I found the head a little funny. The other thing I have is I do have some plastic hooks that I got from magazines. I tend to give these away to um, young girls who want to learn to crochet. They're quite solid. They're not flimsy. They're just plastic hooks. So my favourite hooks, Clover and More, closely followed by Clover Soft Touch. I'd really like to give tulip hooks a go. I have a subscriber who really loves them. Um, every time I look at them, they're not cheap. And I think, oh, I don't know. Maybe one day I'll put them on my birthday wish list or Christmas wish list and buy some and try them, get someone to buy them for me. I have tried the Phil's hooks. Um, the ones I've tried so far are not for me. Um, I don't know if it's because the way I grip or crochet. I know lots of people like the fills, but to date, the two that I have tried are not for me. I've tried the Streamline and the Odyssey hook. I did do a travelling hook um, review when it came here. I'll put a link to the video in the description below. You can check that out and see why I didn't like that. And I won a Odyssey hook in... Um, a Gifts of Love raffle from Crochet Nana, aka Michelle. And I've tried it and I didn't really like it, but that's reminded me I've got to post that off to a friend. Question two, what is your favourite size of hook? That are four millimetre. 
I love a four millimeter. I tend to use three weight or eight ply yarn quite a bit, DK yarn, and the four millimeter is usually the perfect size for that yarn. It is closely followed by um, a five millimeter, but this is my favorite size to the point that if I've been at work and I don't have hooks, I will go across the road uh, to the craft shop, buy a ball of yarn and buy a four millimeter soft touch. I now have three four millimeter soft touches. I've learned to keep a set of hooks at work. Um, question three, do you prefer tapered boy, i.e. boy, or do you prefer an inline, i.e. Susan Bates? Well, I think, I don't know, I don't know, really know the difference. I think the clover are more uh, tapered because the, I think the inline is a lot sharper and for me that would be deadly. I rush I'm a bit rough crocheting and I would split the yarn. I get really excited when I'm enjoying a project. So, I'm just, so yeah, I think the tapered is better for me um, because I would split yarn with an um, inline hook. I have tried a Susan Bates hook uh, before I got my clovers. And unfortunately, it had like a, a rubber type handle like this. But I don't know if it's the tropics or what. It became very sticky and tacky and I couldn't use it. And I didn't give it away. I threw it away. Um, look, I store all my clovers and all my other hooks the same way and they don't go sticky and tacky. I don't know if I just hit a bad hook. But yeah, I didn't like that very much. How do you grip a hook? Pencil grip or knife grip? Question four. Pencil grip. That's me all over. And maybe that's why I had problems with the Phil's hook. Because I did find if I use knife grip, they work better. But muscle memory is it just there. It's pencil grip. I can't change it. I probably could if I really had to. If there were any Phil's hooks left in the world, I'd learn to use them. Does the style of hook dictate how you crochet? Question five. No. I am like, if it's a project that's nice and I don't mind doing it, I'm methodical. But if it's something new and I'm excited about, I rush and crochet, crochet, crochet. I have to teach myself to slow down because that's when I make mistakes. I have been known to crochet for six hours straight with only drinking tea. I crochet so madly when I get obsessive like that. I'll get RSI on the wrist, the elbow and the shoulder and then I'll pay for it the next day. So no, the style of hook, the grip of hook, nothing changes the way I crochet. Question six, do you prefer ergonomic hooks or regular hooks? Well, I've never tried what they call a real ergonomic hook. I like the um, clovers because the flat edge and the way I hold it. I just, yeah, so I, I don't know. I just like my clovers. Question seven, what are your thoughts on lighted hooks? Well, I actually have a set of lighted hooks. There's a video, I did a review years ago on these. I'll put that in the description below and you can check that out. I don't mind these. This is my set here. I use them when I could travel on aeroplanes with my neck light. If you're sitting in the seat next to someone you don't know and they're resting, you don't want to put the overhead your overhead light on because it will disturb them. But I have used these in a neck light and they work really well. So I don't mind them. I've never been camping. I don't know what they'd like camping. But on an aeroplane, when I'm traveling, because I can take these, I have a range of sizes, a USB recharger, and I don't disturb my fellow passengers. Um, question eight, have you ever used hooks with interchangeable heads? If so, your thoughts. Well, my lighted hooks have interchangeable heads. See, they're all there with one on it. I've never had any issues changing those heads. Even the little spanner's still there. And they don't come off when I'm crocheting, even when I'm crocheting frantically. Um... They're fine. They're the only interchangeable hook heads I've ever tried. I've never tried any other brands, but for me, they're okay. 
Question nine. Do you like projects that require small stainless steel hooks or larger hooks? Well, my projects tend to be around a four millimeter hook size or a five millimeter hook size. However, I do have some boy stainless steel hooks. Ta -da! I tend to use all these finer ones for really fine lace work. They do, oops, one's falling out. They do catch a bit, but they're not too bad. I don't um, tend to use the, these ones very much at all. The bigger size, this side, I tend to use my clovers. But I prefer probably a, a DK, eight ply, three weight yarn, and a four millimeter hook. That's my project size, straight down the middle. Question nine. Oh, that was question nine. Question 10. If you're only allowed to use two hooks for the rest of your life, what size and brand would they be? Probably already answered that. A four and a five millimeter clover and more. At the moment, they're the ones I would use because I love them. I probably have more of this size than any other hook size. So that's it, 10 questions. Look, if you're a beginner and you still can't work out from all these videos which hooks you want to try out or, or buy, there, there is a lady, um, she has, I can suggest for you, she does a video on different hooks and different um, heads like inline or whatever they call it um i'm having a mental bank taper head hooks she does a real it's only six minutes long it's a great video so i'll put a link in the description below if you're still considering what hooks you should use her name is her channel name is crochet and knitting with tula marie she's from finland but she speaks really good english you will understand that and it is a good little video if you want to check out what hooks you think will suit you, she will help you with that video, with the advice. So guys, my only bamboo or wood hook, it's not bamboo. I'm not even sure it's real wood. I have never tried wooden hooks. I bought this for the big project and yeah, um, it feels like wood on the inside with a plastic coating on the outside, but that is a Nip Pro hook. There are plenty of hooks out there with different brands. You could go crazy. But you find the one you like and you use it. And for me, Clover and More is it. So I'm going to tag a few people and hope that they will do the video. Now, prior to doing this video, these people hadn't been tagged. But if you've been tagged since, up to you. And if your life is really busy and you don't want to do it, no pressure. And if I don't tag you and you really like to do it, do the tag anyway. So I am going to tag Hopeful Crafts with Hope Mahoney. I'd really like to know what hooks Hope is using. Jeannie Crochet Diamond Painting Zone. Come on, Jeannie, let's hear about the hooks you use over there. Sparkles Hope Chess. I'm not sure if she's done it. But it's a small channel, so come on. And Crochet for Life and Stuff with Deborah. I'm not sure she's done it yet. And Mel from Colours of the Outback across the other side of Australia. Guys, I'm tagging you. You're it for the 10 crochet hook questions. Let's hear what you like to use. And yeah, please check out some of the videos. I'll put everything I talked about in the description below. Secret Yarnery link. Um, the videos on from Tula about what you should buy as a crochet hook, the videos I did on my light up hooks. But guys, make sure you check out the other 10 hook crochet questions with other YouTubers that have done it. If you hashtag it 10 crochet hook questions, if you type that in the search, you should bring up a heap of videos. So let me know what you think. If you don't want to do the whole tag, you can leave a comment below and tell me what your favorite hook um, or brand of hook. So I hope you stay well, take care and make sure you have one crafty day using your favourite hook. Bye for now.